Hello, my name is Connor and welcome back to the Hobby Heap. Today I'm going to be painting up some Crisis Battle Suits in the Farsa Enclave's colour scheme. Now, if there's one main faction in my pile of shame, it is my Tau. I love building and posing the battle suits, but I've always been scared to paint them up. A few have been undercoated, a few have had a splash of red on them, and some have been painted fully, but I'm not 100% happy with them. So, today is the day. We are finally going to paint some battle suits. I've loved this army for years. I started collecting them way back in 3rd edition when I was a kid, buying the first two books, and I love reading about this guy. And when I picked the hobby back up during 8th edition, I knew which army I immediately wanted to go for. I grabbed the out of print Farsa Enclave 6th edition supplement to read more about him, as well as more books and more models. I think Commander Farsa is the coolest character in the 40k setting. He's got a battle suit, he's got a big sword, and it looks like he's going to be getting a new model soon. So what better time to start than right now? I'm going to start painting these battle suits using my airbrush and using Citadel Air Corn Red. They've already been base coated in black and had a zenithal spray from above using white ink. If you don't have an airbrush, fear not. Use a black primer spray coat for the undercoat and a white spray for the zenithal. The red can be applied using a paintbrush, but I'm going to use my airbrush for speed sake. I cover the whole model in red, being sure to layer up the paint steadily instead of in one thick layer. After the entire model has been covered in corn red, I'm going to use my new favourite black paint, which is Citadel Black Legion Contrast Paint. This is used to paint the non-armoured sections of the battle suit. So, the legs. The back of the jetpack. and the hands and arms. I'm also going to paint the inside of the helmet where the lenses are. Next, I'm going to use Citadel Eschen Grey. This is used to paint select areas of the armour. I'm not picking any specific areas to start with, I'm just picking areas I think will help break up the red armour. Warhammer 40k is great. I love playing the game, I love the lore, and I love building and painting the models. But like with most people, finding time and motivation to get a fully painted army can be tough. So I've made it my new mission to get a 2000 point Tau army painted up. I'm going to paint the helmet as well, as this is going to be the Chasvre, or the leader of the unit. Don't forget to channel your inner Duncan Rhodes here, and apply at least two thin coats. 
Next, I'm going to use Citadel Ultho in Grey. This is to paint the fire cast markings. And I'm also going to block out the lenses on the helmet. After this, a brighter red is used for the central circle of the fire cast marking. Here, I'm using Citadel's Mephiston Red. Avalan Sunset is used to paint in the lens. A big tip I can give you when you paint small details like this is, if you're going to close one eye to concentrate, don't forget about something really important called depth perception. We'll, uh, we'll fix that later. There's not a lot of gold areas, but we're going to use Retributor Armour for the bisected sphere things on the jetpacks and arms. If anyone knows what these things are actually called in the lore, please tell me in the comments below, because I'd really love to know. This next step is an absolute game changer for painting battle suits in my opinion. I'm going to take some black oil paint and some artist's white spirit and we're going to make an oil wash. Add the white spirit to the oil paint and mix it up until it's suitably thinned down. After this, I take a thin paintbrush and just touch it to the areas I want the wash to be. You can see it easily fill in these gaps and ridges in the armour plating, which helps to add depth to the model. also helped me fix my earlier lens mishap, so it's a 10 out of 10 from me. Now, to be honest, I could finish the base and leave the model here, but we're going to add a few extra steps to really make it pop. First, I use Citadel's Wildstacker Red to edge highlight the model. In my opinion, not every edge needs to be highlighted. I'm going to focus on the front of the model, mainly the chest area, to draw the eye of anyone looking.
Citadel Dawnstone was used to highlight the grey areas, again focusing on the front of the model and also the helmet. Citadel's Reichland Flesh Shade was used on the gold areas. To finish the lens, I mixed a little bit of Ulthuan Grey into my original yellow, Avalan Sunset. I painted a small crescent shape into the lower right of the lens. Then, I mixed in a little more Ulthu and Grey and painted a small line in the furthermost bottom right corner. A small dot of Ulthu and Grey was then placed in the opposite corner to make the surface of the lens look reflective. After basing the model, it was then complete. I've been putting off painting my battle suits for a very long time, but I'm really pleased with how these turned out. They were an absolute blast to paint, and they didn't take me an absolute age. I think a lot of painting anxiety comes from how long will the model take, and will it actually look any good once I'm finished. Sometimes, the best thing we can do is just sit down whenever we have some free time and get some paint on the model. Not every model you paint is going to be your best one ever, and not every model you paint has to be a Golden Demon winner. Painting should be a process you enjoy and you should be proud of every single model you complete. Thank you so much for watching and joining me on my journey to tackle my pile of shame. If you like my videos and you want to support my channel, the best thing you can do is like the video, subscribe to my channel and even give me a little comment below about what you enjoyed or even what you think I can do to improve my painting or improve my videos in general. If you're feeling extra generous, I have a Ko-Fi link in the description if you want to help me keep the lights on or buy fresh new paints. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to catch you soon on the Hobby Heap.